Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another Wellness Stories, Monday Night Wellness Stories. I'm Sherry Danzig, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to another night of great stories. We are all um, excited to share stories about um, from a company called Niken, and the about part are wellness technologies that create what we love to call a wellness home. It's about living in an environment that gives back to you, uh, helps you to have more energy, more vibrancy, um, maybe more oomph in your step, better sleep, um, lots of different aspects of the wellness home. And so tonight is we're going to hear uh, a few different stories that are simply about um, people's experience or someone that they've shared the products with their experience. So Lynn, I'm going to let you start because I know you've got a story about a customer or somebody that you shared the products with. Take it away. Great. Good evening. Uh, my name is Lynn and I participate or volunteer with a rescue group. So about um, beginning of June, <clears throat> we were doing a big fundraising garage sale at my house. So it's a lot of commotion, a lot of work. And you, I do get a lot of traffic. And I noticed a couple coming with the husband holding his right hand. And I knew why he was holding it, just the way he's walking. And I just noticed it, a lot of chaos. And But my mind said, should I say something? Should I not? So when they were looking through some stuff, I just approached him. I said, this is my number. I'm not in any way saying that this could be beneficial to you, but here's my contact. I might be able to share something with you if you like. Believe it or not, the night was not over. I got a call from them. Oh my goodness. Um, and over the phone, all I said is, it would be best, are you willing to come out? I'll share some products for you which are natural. It's not going to interfere with what medically you're getting help with. And um, we'll go from there. They came first thing in the morning. They couldn't wait. He happened to be a um, natural, he says doctor from his own country. I believe they're from Iraq. Very young, uh, lovely couple. But you can see the stress on a family because his condition is going to progress to a point that he's not able to um, feed himself, even speak. It's the degenerative type of uh, condition. So all he was open-minded, kept blessing me for willing to talk to him. So what I've done is I've loaned him product in each hand, especially his affected hand. I gave him a wrap and our a mini, uh, not our mini magnet, our dyno uh, helped me out um, the bigger magnetic the chip, one. The chip. Yes, thank yeah. you, Sherry. Yeah. So I suggested he put it on there. I definitely gave him a necklace. I gave him insoles to put in his shoes. And I thought, oh, this is not enough. I gave him my brand new seat and suggested that they, he sits in it when, whenever he's sitting. He's not able to work anymore. And I, and I said to him, please put it underneath you when you go to bed drink lots of water and of course I made sure I said this is no guarantee that you're going to have any results I have no idea what kind of benefits you're going to have let's just see because of knowing that his condition is pretty serious I did not I said I'll call you in a week but I really didn't in two mm -hmm. weeks I wasn't expecting too much changes. When I called him, he says, I'm not sure. I think I feel better. But he was just so grateful that there was other options for him other than the medical treatment he's getting right now. So I happened to go on holidays. I'm going to the cottage. I did call him. I said, just keep using the products. It probably will take some time. I'll follow up with you when I get back. If I could read you the text message I got from him, I was at my cottage. I couldn't believe it. I was elated. He said, I'm feeling so great. I can't wait to see you and so on. But I didn't have connections, so I couldn't call till I got back. And here is the beauty of the story. When I came back, I wanted to call them and let him know that I was not able to get in touch with them. I was away where there's no signals. And... 
I happen to have busy time. I said, we'll connect and get together so we can go further next week. And that's next week. So, but he's, I said, what changes have you expected? He said, Lynn, it's the first time I'm holding the cell phone in the hand I could not use before and talking to you. I was elated. I was just so thrilled. He was having all kinds of positive results. I can't specifically other than that one. When he said to me, he's holding his cell phone and his hand is not moving, vibrating. You know what I'm talking about. And he was able to talk to me. I was so grateful. The end of it, I knew, I did not know what results he's going to have, even if they're just minute improvement in his quality of his life. I'm so grateful I, I spoke up and gave him an opportunity to try these products. I think he will be um, really improving his quality of life, regardless what's ahead of him. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Makes you feel really good when you can. Oh, it. absolutely. It was absolutely. just the fact that he had some results. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Um, I'm going to share a story for myself, which is kind of a bad news and then good news story, which is that I was traveling. I was in St. Louis. Some of the folks that are on this, this Zoom right here live in St. Louis. So I was in St. Louis and then I traveled to Chicago and um, somewhere in Chicago, I, I don't know where I got it from, but I started, I came down with a cold, which when I got home, I realized was actually COVID. So I did not sleep well. I just had a rough night sleeping. I was in my daughter's apartment the first night I got there and I was up, you know, every couple of hours. And then what happened the next day? I was sick. So that's something I'm going to be sharing this on a sleep presentation tomorrow night that when you don't sleep well, when you get interrupted sleep or you don't get enough sleep, your immune system is functioning much, much lower at about 40, 50% of the, the normal healthy range of, of your immune system. So what happened for me? I got sick. Now, because I have the products, I was surrounded with them. I, I carried my sleep products with me. I just didn't get that, that one night I didn't get, I had an upset stomach, which is what kind of, up, you know, got my sleep messed up. And that happens. It's not like, you know, we, we can surround ourselves with these products and it doesn't create, um, you know, utopia doesn't mean we never get sick. Um, and so I did get sick. It was it was su such a mild cold, though, that nobody ever even suspected that it was COVID. So I didn't test. My daughter got got it. My husband got it. And another daughter, two of my daughters that was there, they all got it. But here's the thing. Everybody went back home to their wellness home. Um, you know, within a few days, everybody was better. And, you know, I, I'm not here making a medical claim. Everybody is different. Everybody has different responses to this virus when they do get it. I can simply tell you that compared to what I hear so many stories, I've had a couple of friends recently who've gotten COVID and they've been sick for a couple of weeks. And so for me to have not even known I had it and then to come home and to get, you know, fully recovered within a few days, uh, I can't prove anything, but I just have to say that I think it's these products and being surrounded in this whole wellness environment of, you know, drinking the best water and getting really, really good sleep and breathing really, really good air and taking our nutrition. All of those things made this huge difference. So I think that it really, it can't do anything but help support your body and moving through whatever it is that we get exposed to. So I wanted to share that story. And the last one that I'm sharing that I'm saving for uh, last is Laverne. Laverne was came to the to a class that we had in St. Louis. And Laverne, I'm gonna um, I'm excited for you to share your story of what's been going on with you. Well, I have respiratory issues, and I've been dealing with them for a few years now. My speech is getting better because I went to a presentation at Shirley Art's house and it was on a Sunday. I had been at church and I had gotten out of breath at church because the air was bad. When I got to Shirley's house and started going down into the lower level, 
where the presentations were going to be. I could tell the air was very fresh and my breathing was getting better because when I go downstairs, I get out of breath and I usually have to catch my breath and that's from having asthma and other respiratory issues. But I was breathing normal. And the whole time I was at Shirley's presentation, I saw this, how you said, Nikon mm -hmm. purifier was on. And I knew that must have had something to do with it. But Sherry would never tell me about this purifier. So <laughs> Debbie came and sat by me and she started telling me about the Nikon purifier. I say, well, I'm going to have to get one of those because I'm not out of breath. I usually get congestion and it builds up in my vocal cords, causes me not to be able to talk. And as you see, I'm talking very well now and I'm not out of breath, but I have my Nikon purifier on. I keep it on during the night. I take it downstairs, which uh, uh, surely I'm going to have to get another one so I don't have to be carrying it up and down the stairs. And my husband can tell the difference. When we would travel and go out of town or out of the state, I would breathe normal. I wouldn't have any arthritis issues. I wouldn't have any breathing issues. Well, I'm getting the same effect from this Nikon purifier. It's like I'm, when I'm in my home, it's like being in another state or out of the country because the air is fresher and I feel better. I don't have swelling in my hands or my ankles. I haven't been aching. So I know for a fact the fresh air makes a big difference. And I am just thrilled with my Nikon purifier. If you don't have one, I suggest you get one. That's wonderful. Yeah, air is kind of important. It's it's kind of up there in terms of uh, the hierarchy of, of importance in our well-being. So, and you know, there's a, there's, I never can pronounce this. Maggie might be able to help me out and say it. But it, it, there's a Japanese word that means forest breathing. And so there's an essence of that, of bringing in nature's best air, the way a forest breathes. I know it yes. starts with an S, I couldn't pronounce it, but uh, Maggie, you could unmute if you could share, but otherwise it's okay. Anyhow, that's what, because Niken's products are about harnessing mother nature and bringing that indoors. So it's the best of nature that we get to live with. So right. I'm, del I'm well, delighted to hear that. Well, Shinrin Roku. Thank you. I knew I knew you could do it. <laughs> Thanks, Maggie. All right, you guys, this is it for tonight. Thank you all for being on. And next week we'll be back probably with a with a focus theme of different stories. But we love getting these stories that we can share amongst ourselves and with with the whole global world. So thanks, everyone. Have a great night.